This video today will take you through two different examples of making a velocity versus time graph. Uh, one given a verbal description and the other one from a given position versus time graph. So let's say you're given the description of the motion that uh, an object underwent and you had to make a velocity versus time graph. So let's read through this. It says the object is moving away from the origin, which is the zero point, in the positive direction at two meters per second. So it's moving the positive direction, that means it's going to have a positive velocity at a speed of two meters per second. And so on our velocity versus time graph, starting from time zero up until two seconds, we have to have a, a horizontal line positioned at two, showing it has that same consistent velocity that doesn't change over those two seconds. Going back to the description, it says for two seconds, <clears throat> it does this. It then stops for two seconds. If you're not moving, your position is not changing, you have a velocity of zero. For the next two seconds, from two to four, you need to have a horizontal line on zero, showing that the object is at rest, it has a zero velocity. It's going zero meters every second. It then says it moves back towards the origin at a speed of two meters per second for one second. So if it's going back towards the origin, the object is now moving in the negative direction, which means it has to have a negative velocity. If it's, it's moving at two meters per second, that means its velocity will be negative two meters per second. And there's your finished velocity versus time graph. Let's now look at a situation where you're given a position versus time graph, and you need to make a velocity versus time graph, which describes the same type of motion that the object is doing on a velocity graph rather than the position graph. So we can see just by looking at the position, position versus time graph, the object at time zero starts at a position of zero at our origin, and it's moving away from the origin at a constant speed. And we know that it's moving at a constant speed or a constant velocity because the slope doesn't change for those first three seconds. For the last two seconds, it does change. It now turns into a negative slope which indicates it's now moving backwards. And you can see that this is a not quite as steep of a line showing that it's moving backwards slower. So in order to make an accurate velocity versus time graph, we have to calculate the slope for each region. Remember, velocity can be found by calculating the slope of a position versus time graph or an x versus t graph. You do that by taking the displacement, the change in an object's position, divided by the change in time. So let's just call this first part of the motion uh, motion A and the second part motion B. So let's calculate the velocity uh, during time A. So from zero to three seconds, it moves from an initial position of zero meters to a final position of three meters. So the object's displacement is goes from zero to three so the object is displaced positive three meters. It does that in a total of three seconds. So the change in time is three seconds. And so the velocity on average over those first three seconds is positive one meter per second. Now remember to show that it has that same consistent velocity over those three seconds, we need to draw a flat horizontal line at one meter per second over three seconds. Now for region B, notice its initial position is three meters, it's at a position of three meters, and in the end it's at a position of two meters. So now, during region B, the object is displaced negative one meters. So it went from three down to two, and it had that displacement from three to five seconds, so for a total of two seconds. So negative one meter divided by two seconds gives you negative 0 0.5 meters per second. So to finish this velocity versus time graph we have to find spot at negative 0.5 meters per second and we draw a horizontal line across for those last two seconds. <clears throat> 